Sofort demand, supply, equilibrium, we have done. Now we'll take care of elasticity. Elasticity of demand, I'll give heading, and over there, these three portions will take care. Separate heading, I'll give elasticity of supply, and this portion will take care. Economists call this elastic concept as backbone of economics. So, Next page, as you have nicely writing, I believe we have been. Next page, fourth topic. Elasticity of demand. Step one. <sighs> Meaning derivation. Main part is measurement of. Elasticity of demand. Synopsis format I'll give you carefully. Elasticity is what? So far we have done law of demand. It is what? As price falls, demand increases. So it is what? Quantitative change. Now if you want to find out relative change, what is relative change? means how do you respond to change in price. Suppose you are given necessary goods. Now it is in Indian economy price of necessary goods keeps on increasing. So as price of necessary goods keeps on increasing, will consumers stop consuming? No. Demand in decreases but in lesser extent. Rice, pulses, etc. Whereas for salt, if any price changes, demand remains same. For luxury goods, demand responds such a way. Elasticity what? First, basic sense. Synopsis format. It is helpful for you apart from our study material. Please write down. Elasticity is the Degree of responsiveness of I'm using one other color to help for you. Dependent variable due to change in. Independent variable. Careful now, brother. Yeah, don't write, huh? Careful, listen to me. If I write x is equal to function of y, don't write. This one rough. So this is dependent, this is very independent. <laughs> the last is to what? Degree of response of x, you to change in price of y. Right? Careful. When I ask you, I repeat, don't write. Price elasticity of demand. Look at that and tell me how many variables are there. Two. One is demand, another is price. What do you call? One is demand, the function of price. Correct. Look at the magic. See, if they ask you, what is price elasticity of demand? My student should answer. It is nothing but degree of responsiveness of dependent money, only demand. You will change independent money, price. No problem. Now, if they ask you what is income elasticity, 
uh, so write what they ask. Income elasticity of demand. How many variables? Two. How are they related? Correct. What does it mean? Income elasticity is the degree of response to the quantity of demand. You retain income. What is the problem? If they ask you cross elasticity of demand, what is that? You react to the function of EY. Price of Y changes, effect on QDX, degree of response to X, due to change in price of Y, cross less of Y, either scope. Yes, it's a very simple. It's a basic format. No book can help you like this way. Only our explanation can help you. Be careful on that. So, first our scope is price elasticity. That's right. Price elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded due to changing price. Symbolically, how do you write? Careful. EP. Let me make perfect way, then you write that. What does it mean? Percentage changing demand by percentage changing price. Correct? As a percentage money what? In our childhood interim method we have done proportionate change into 100. Correct? No? So first of all, what does it mean? Let me make in a perfect way. It is equal to AI right. Changing demand by original change in quantity demand rather. Change in quantity demand rate by original quantity demand rate into hundred. Change in price by original price into 100. Up to this, I believe it is clear. Those are my non mass friends. For them, any change is denoted by delta on calculus sign. So only Q means original Q. Delta Q means change in Q. Only P means original P. Delta P means change in price. So instead of this language, may I write with your permission everything should be systematic over. Thank you, thank you, I don't like Instead of changing quantity, may I write del Q, Q, 100, del P, E, 100. Interim method knows that. So ultimately, E, P is equal to what? Del Q by del P into E by Q. This is the first formula of price elasticity of demand. Correct or not? Quick wrap up. What is elasticity? Degree of response and dependent will be changed. When I talk about price elasticity, I should specify. I should specify what? 
I should specify my dependent independent units. Now our scope of C formulation is measurement of elasticity. One thing rough, don't write. What we are writing in suffix, it is called concern elasticity. <coughs> EP means price elasticity of demand. EM means income elasticity of demand. Now another things. If I take one demand curve and to measure elasticity here, so if I write R here, R is one of the points on demand curve. So what is that called? Price elasticity of demand at point R. What does it mean? Suffix implies concern elasticity, superscript implies concern point. If I write EML, Income less a demand at point L. Symbolically, I want to explain you which you don't get anywhere. Now, measurement as per measurement elasticity. For example, Alfred Marshall says. C1 demand curve T, T you have taken, it is an R. Take it. Say R is a middle point. First of all, E, P at point R means what? The proof is not in your scope. Had it been, I would have helped you. Nothing but lower segment by upper segment. Good. Now consider this is so this is lower segment and this is upper segment, correct? Say it is 5, it is also 5. So 5 by 5 is 1. 1. This is maths. Economics what you call? Middle point on any linear demand curve, value of elasticity is unit, correct? So let me make that. Number one at R point EP at R equals to R capital T by R small t. So R capital T is equal to R small t means EP at R is equal to one. It is called unit elastic slowly one by one. So may I write with your permission, nothing but EP is equal to 1, call it as unit elastic. One part gone, right? Now consider this one, R1. The lower segment is more. Look at this, lower segment is more. Lower segment is less. Lower segment is in numerator, upper segment is denominator. In our childhood, we have done the numerator more means result should be greater than one. So I will write this at point R1. What is happening? EP at R1 is equal to R1 capital T, small t. What does it mean? R1 capital T greater than R1 small t, therefore EP at R1 greater than 1. It's called more elastic or elastic, anything you can say. So I'll fill up this greater than 1, elastic or more elastic. The common sense, on the contrary, R2 should be what? It be lesser than 1. 
inelastic or less elastic and then you can say so here a right at point R2 EPA dot 2 equals to R2 T by to small t R2 T less than R2 small t therefore you be at R2 lesser than 1 or less elastic or inelastic. Now <laughs> look if full point is lower segment. The full point lower segment is full. What is upper segment? Zero. Anything divided by zero is one. Infinity. Try to get the blending of mathematics and economics, please. So here it is one. It is equal to infinite. It is called perfectly elastic. Similarly, it is called it is equal to zero, perfectly inelastic. So, at point small t, what is happening? Up at small t is equal to t t by zero, infinite. Perfectly elastic at point capital T at point capital T. What we can write P capital T is equal to zero by T T equal to zero perfectly. Elastic. Simple look. First, what is elasticity? We we'll scribble, take one rough copy and scribble. What is elasticity? Definition followed by different measurements of elasticity. Measurement one, lower segment one, upper segment. On a linear demand curve, how many? Five. Middle point, unit, upper portion. Elastic, lower portion, inelastic, extreme top, perfect elastic, extreme bottom, perfect inelastic. Basic part, at least seven to eight question then, correct or not. <coughs> now step two is very important. Here, 